And this video is brought to you by Keeps. What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about five reasons why I love having a longer hairstyle. Now, this video is only one side of the story, so if you haven't seen my video about five reasons why having long hair kind of sucks sometimes, definitely go check that one out. So I've been growing my hair out for about eight months uh, with a couple of shape ups, clean ups in between, and I'm really, really enjoying having a longer hairstyle, and I wanna tell you why. Reason number one, it changes your face shape. So just like with facial hair, your hairstyle can change the perceived shape and the silhouette of your face and your head. Sort of like a beard can give you a wider or more angular jaw, having longer hair can add some width to your head. Now for guys with very narrow faces like me, this is pretty cool. I actually read about one study where during a speed dating test, women found guys with wider faces more attractive and were more likely to wanna to go on a second date with them. Now this study proves two things. One, attraction is mysterious, and two, I will never fully understand how the female mind works. But regardless, I think it's very interesting that we can use our hairstyle to make subtle changes in how people see our face and the shape and silhouette of our head. Reason number two I love longer hair is the curls and the waves. Many people have a slightly wavy hair, but they don't know it because it doesn't show up until their hair gets a little longer. I have some waves and some small curls in my hair, but when my hair is short, like when I have that undercut side part, it just looks straight. As your hair grows out, it's really cool to see the different textures and dimensions and even colors of your hair uh, change as it gets longer. So if you have no idea what your hair would look like when it's long, there's only one way to find out. Number three, you get to try different products. Now with longer hair, you can't really use the same high hold matte finish clays and putties that you use on shorter hair. You know, for me, it's been fun to test out lighter weight, lighter hold uh, products like styling creams and gels and even sea salt spray and oils, stuff that really doesn't have enough hold to use on shorter hairstyles. I've even used some natural oils in my hair, especially when I use a lot of shampoo and my hair gets a little too clean and too dry and frizzy. I'll use some oils to kind of get it back to its natural state. And it's really cool to see how these different types of products interact with longer hair. So I think you sort of get to know your hair a little more when you have to use different types of products. On a related note, reason number four is you get to try different styling techniques. So if you watch my video about why long hair sucks, uh, then you'll know that, you know, having long hair requires just more time and more practice. You know, the learning curve is just a bit steeper than it is with shorter hair. So it's gonna take some practice and probably just gonna take a little more time each morning. But the benefit of that is that you will get better at uh, styling hair. So, you know, I didn't really know how to use a blow dryer before I started growing my hair out. And now that it's a necessity, I really understand how to use a blow dryer and how it interacts with my hair, the, the effect of heat and wind on my hair. So having longer hair kind of forces you to become an expert at styling. And I honestly think that even if I go back to a shorter hairstyle, I will have a better understanding of different types of products and their effect on my hair. And reason number five, hats look better. You know, I have kind of a narrow head and hats are usually too wide for me. So I've never really worn hats because I never really felt like they looked good on me. But having longer hair, letting your hair grow out is like putting a big, cushion on top of your head, a big round cushion. And I found that almost any type of hat wears a little better uh, on my head when I have longer hair. So, you know, I never wore baseball caps before. Now I have a baseball cap that I wear sometimes, not all the time, because I, I like letting my hair show, but if I don't feel like styling it or if I'm having a bad hair day or if it's really windy outside, I can throw on a baseball cap and I actually feel like it looks pretty good now with the hair showing underneath, kind of spilling out. And I feel like it sits on my head a little better now that I have this extra width. And if I'm not leaving the house or maybe if I'm going to the gym or doing something where I don't really have to look great, I'll use a headband to keep my hair back. Sometimes I'll do this after a shower when my hair is still drying. And it doesn't look that cool, but it does the job. And unlike a hat, it doesn't leave you with that hat hair where it kind of mashes everything down. So my suggestion for you is weighing all the pros and cons of growing your hair out. If you've been thinking about it, if you're curious as to what you would look like with longer hair, 
just do it. You know, especially if you're a student or self-employed or you work somewhere that doesn't have like strict guidelines about your hair or your grooming, just grow it out. You know, the hardest part is just not getting a haircut for six months. So that's the first step. Yes, it's gonna be the awkward phase. Yes, you're gonna have haters. It's gonna be harder to style. But you know, when I'm making decisions, I always think about it in terms of future regret. So I try to minimize future regret. I'm pretty sure when you're an old man, you're not gonna be thinking, hmm, I wish I hadn't ever grown my hair out. <laughs> you know, but you might wish that you had tried a longer hairstyle, especially if you go bald later. You know, our hair can leave at any time. So while we still have it, you might as well have some fun and experiment with longer hairstyles. So just do it, we'll be in it together. If you have any questions about growing your hair out, let me know down in the comments. Thank you as always for watching. And until next time, stay stylish. In life, there are so many things that us guys can't control. For example, once you stop growing, that's it. You're not getting any taller. Trust me on that one. Luckily, there's plenty of stuff that we can control, like our fitness and our style and losing our hair. That's right, you don't have to sit back and accept hair loss. You can actually do something about it. And that's really good news because according to studies, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. There's no cure for this, but there are proven treatments that can combat the symptoms. And today it's easier than it's ever been to get access to these treatments. And you can do that with Keeps. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved treatments for hair loss. You've probably heard of these products and maybe you've even tried them. But with Keeps, these treatments are more affordable and easier to get your hands on than they've ever been. It only takes five minutes to sign up. You just answer some questions, snap a few photos of your hair, and then submit your information. A licensed physician reviews all your info and then puts together a treatment plan just for you, and the products show up discreetly at your doorstep every three months. There's no waiting rooms, no pharmacies, no awkward visits to the clinic. Keeps is only 10 to $35 a month, and you can get your first month free by going to keeps.com slash modest. Again, that's keeps.com slash modest for your first month free.